Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So <laughs> don't get alarmed by a different look. When I filmed this video and went to edit it, something happened to the introduction. It was all fuzzy and unwatchable. And so I have to read. So hence the different look. But this video is very exciting because this is a collab video with some amazing friends and fragrance YouTubers. Now, the topic that we're going to discuss today is fragrances for four seasons and this is kind of an international collab we have we have people from different countries where climates and weather are different so that uh you know once you watch all the videos you will see a variety of fragrances suitable for different weather so the organizer of this club is canada cam 1978 then we also have Maria Colette participating. We have from Abby with Love, Paula Bianca, and the Perfume Realm. All amazing channels. All of them will be linked in a description below. Definitely make sure to visit all of them, watch their videos, show them lots of love. For now, Let's continue with the video. I'm going to share with you my choices of fragrances for four seasons. It was <laughs> very challenging to choose just one fragrance for each season. So I'm going to cheat just a little bit and I've decided to choose two for each season. And one is going to be a designer fragrance and one is going to be niche. So let's start with winter. As my niche pick, I have the Ruthless Countess Dorothea from Ben Halligan's. This fragrance has ginger, cinnamon, beeswax, um, white wine, and vanilla. And it's just such a beautiful, warm, comforting fragrance. It is very sweet. It, it has a little bit of spices, so cinnamon and ginger are coming through. It does have a touch of that wine note. It is definitely visible here in, as well. And of course, vanilla brings everything together. I've been really obsessing over this fragrance ever since I got it. It is very, very beautiful. And as I mentioned before, uh, this is my second fragrance from Penhaligan's Portraits collection, the first being uh, Changing Constance. And if I compare the two, this one definitely has a better performance. As my designer pick for winter, I chose Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. And of course, the main notes here are tobacco, dried fruits, vanilla. We also have woody notes, we have some spices. Overall, it just feels like sweet tobacco with some cherries or more like some kind of cherry, maybe liqueur, maybe cherry pit. I'm not sure, but there is definitely something cherry related here with sweet tobacco. I think winter is absolutely the best time to wear this fragrance and I have already started wearing it and will continue to wear it throughout this season. Next, of course, we have spring. And spring here in Canada, where I am, is very different. You know, in March, it's still very, very cold, typically. And then in May, it is already warm, sometimes even hot. So when I was choosing my fragrances for spring, I sort of went for uh, the ones that are kind of in between. They're not... Uh, the strongest fragrances, they're also not the lightest fragrances. They're somewhere in the middle. And as my niche choice, I went with Café Cabanel from Tio Cabanel. Uh, this is a really, really interesting and beautiful fragrance. Of course, the main player here is coffee, but we also have milk. We have butter. Uh, we have cinnamon. Uh, there's heliotrope, tonka caramel, sandalwood, vanilla. So it really feels like I am drinking um, some kind of latte from Starbucks. Um, the coffee in here is 
not too strong. You definitely have a kind of creamy look tonic quality to it as well. So definitely it's coffee with a lot of cream in it. That's why I'm thinking of latte. It has a touch of nuttiness from Heliotrope and Tonka and caramel adds even more sweetness to this, but this is definitely not too sweet. This is not overpoweringly sweet scent. No, everything is very, very balanced. There is a little bit of everything and then it, everything is just blended beautifully together. So Cafe Cabanel from Tio Cabanel is my first choice for spring. And for my designer pick for spring, I chose Valentino Donna Aqua. Again, I kind of feel like this fragrance is somewhere in the middle between being really strong scent and being really light scent. So here, of course, we have almond, we have pear, there is jasmine, frangipani, sandalwood, and this is an almond type of scent but almond is not too strong in here. It just mixes so, so nicely with pear and with frangipani, and then obviously vanilla brings a little bit of sweetness. This, some almond scents could be too much for me. Um, for me to like an almond-centric scent, it has to be kind of balanced and supported by other notes, and I find that this scent is exactly like that. So I think this would be a great choice for any weather during the spring. Now we're finally going into the summer. It's hot, it's warm, hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, sometimes June can be sort of a, still chilly around here, but you know, I'm, I'm hoping for really warm weather. And so of course here I'm choosing really light, refreshing types of scents. And the first one that I went with is Virgin Island Water from Creed. Uh, this is your quintessential vacation scent, I think, because you have coconut, rum, uh, lime, ginger, there's sugar, there's citruses in here. And this is like you're drinking pina colada sitting somewhere on the beach. This is such, such a beauty. Um, I just love this scent. It is really intoxicating and it is really happy and relaxing at the same time. And this is something that I've worn a lot last summer and I know for sure that this will be a staple this summer as well. And my second choice is very, very light, refreshing kind of scent that would be perfect for really, really hot uh, days. I went with Hermes Rhubarb Acrylat, something like that. And this scent is, of course, about rhubarb. In addition to that, we have red berries and musk. And this is your really kind of um, tart, slightly sour uh, rhubarb. Berries bring a touch of sweetness, but I would not call this scent very sweet. It is just so, so refreshing. I love the note of rhubarb, and so uh, this is definitely one of my favorites, the one that I definitely enjoy in the summer. Of course, as you can imagine, and this is eau de toilette, I think. Um, you know, the lasting power on this is not great, but you know, I just cover myself in this fragrance to make it last a little bit longer. And the last season is fall. Again, the weather here really varies throughout the fall. You know, typically September is still relatively warm, whereas November is already pretty much like the winter, so it can be very, very cold. So, uh, you know, the scents that I chose are kind of really warm type of scents that really open up beautifully in the cold weather, but they're not, again, uh, the biggest be beasts from my collection because that's what I would save for the winter. So anyways, the first choice from the niche side is Great Pearls from the House of Oud. Uh, this fragrance has rose, uh, vanilla, coffee, blueberries, and grapes. And it is sort of a di very distant cousin of, you know, Intense Cafe from Montal or Dilox from Tiziana Terenzi, but it has an amazing addition of blueberries and grapes that add more sweetness and more fruitiness to the scent. And I find, although 
it, this scent is not super, super strong. Like I can definitely wear it during any season, but I think that this opens up so much more beautiful and so much better during the uh, fall season. At, the, at least that's what happened this fall. I felt like it performed the best during that weather. You know, when it's not freezing cold yet, but it is already cold. The air is not hot. For some reason, this opens up beautifully. And so that's why I've chosen it for the fall. And my last choice for the fall is from Dior uh, Private Line. This is Fev Delicios. And of course, this fragrance is mostly about tonka. But in addition to that, we have vanilla, milk, mint, cacao, benzoin, florals. And so it is kind of slightly aromatic, slightly nutty, slightly spicy scent that has a really um, an element of freshness, especially in the opening. I definitely get that mint note. It doesn't stay for long. It disappears pretty quickly, but it is there in the opening. And then when it dries down, it is mostly vanilla and tonka, and there's a little bit of milk. So it is definitely very creamy, but it is still a bit aromatic. It's just an amazing blend of everything together. This is a very warming type of scent, and that's why I think it will be perfect uh, for the fall. So these are my choices for four Canadian seasons. Again, thank you, Kim, for organizing this club and thank you to everyone who participated in it. This was so much fun clubbing with all of you. And again, all of the channels will be linked in the description. Definitely make sure to check out all of them. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.